Hello, and welcome to this training tutorial on the Mitel 6867i phone. Depending on your department or your particular phone usage, some pre-programmed soft keys may be slightly different. You can find additional instructional videos on the phone at learn.mitel.com. In this video, we will cover the following topics, an overview of the phone and its layout, a rundown of the key features and buttons, operation of the phone, including how to make and take a call, transfer a call, voicemail, use of the directory, call forward, and the do not disturb feature. We'll also cover some more advanced topics such as conference calling, setting up speed dialing, and call park. Let's get started. The 6867i phone is a robust, fully featured desktop phone offering remarkable HD audio, advanced call management applications, and an enhanced speaker for clear, rich, hands-free conversations. Looking at the layout of the phone, your phone is equipped with a dynamic display. At the top is the status bar. The right side of the screen is the information section. When not on a call, this shows time, date, and any missed calls. Six configurable buttons align the left side of the screen, and there are four soft keys along the bottom of the screen. The bottom keys will change based on status. For example, if you're idle, in a ring state, on a call, or in a feature menu, the available soft keys will be different. And while there are a total of 10 soft keys visible, when either the side or bottom keys are all used, the last key will show the more icon, represented by dots and providing for lots of additional soft keys. Note that some of the configurable buttons and soft keys will be preset by your system administrators, and some will be available for customization. For example, speed dialing and displaying other shared extensions that may be relevant. We'll address setting up speed dials later in this video, and other extensions will be set up by your system administrators. Working down the left side of the phone, we have the Presence button, where you can view a contact's phone status, be it idle or in use, the Goodbye button, used to hang up a call or exit out of a variety of menus. The Hold button. The Options button, to access services and options to further customize your phone, such as ringtones, screen brightness, and headset controls. Continuing down the left-hand side, next is the Mute button. And at the bottom is the Volume Control key. Moving to the upper right, we have the Directory button, the Navigation key for navigating through the phone's user interface with its center button that functions as a select key, the Transfer button, the Conference button, the Callers list, which is a stored log of incoming calls containing up to 200 entries, the Redial key, which stores up to 100 of your last dialed numbers, two hardset line keys with LEDs that highlight to indicate usage, and the speaker headset key, which enables easy toggling between speaker and headset. Finally, in regard to the phone's layout, note that the phone's hands-free microphone is located beneath the dial pad. Be careful not to obstruct the microphone with paper, books, or anything else. Basic operation of the phone is largely intuitive, but let's run through some key topics. Make and take a call. To make a call, you just lift the handset off hook or press the speaker headset button and dial the number. The associated line which is being used is LED highlighted on the respective line button as well as indicated on the display screen. When you're finished the call, you can use the Goodbye button to hang up. To answer a call, simply pick up the handset or press the headset hands-free button.
transferring a call. Once you are in a call, press the transfer button on the right hand side of the phone, or if preset, you can use the transfer soft key. Both are the same, so you can use whichever is more convenient. After pressing the transfer key, there are two ways to transfer a call. With a blind or unsupervised transfer, simply enter the new extension and hang up. The call is then automatically transferred to that number. The other option is a supervised or assisted transfer. Dial the intended number, wait for the person to answer so you can give them a heads up on who is calling. Then, to complete the process, press the transfer button again or hit the goodbye button and the call will be transferred to the intended person. You can also transfer a call directly to someone's voicemail. Press the transfer key and input the numeral 1 preceding their extension number. For example, to transfer a call to the voice mailbox for extension 1201, simply enter 11201. Voicemail. There are different options for receiving and accessing your voicemail. You can access on your phone, receive your voice messages by email, or access via a voicemail portal. Let's briefly explain each of these. On the phone. This is the traditional method that most people are familiar with. Note that regardless of the method you choose to manage voicemail on an ongoing basis, you will need to use your phone to record your name and greetings. The voicemail system provides a self-explanatory menu to record your name, greetings, listen to greetings, change your passcode, etc. There are options to record not available, busy, and temporary greetings. You may decide to opt for simplicity and only use the not available greeting. You'll see that voicemail access has been preset on the phone's top left soft key with a default passcode of 1234. It is important that you update this passcode and the system will prompt you to do so with the initial access of your voicemail. Messages via email. In addition to voicemail messages on your phone, your system administrator may have deployed voicemail to email so that you will receive voicemail messages via an email that contains the caller's original audio recording. Note that having messages on your phone while also receiving them via email means that listening to or deleting messages on one will not update the other. For example, if you listen to a voicemail message via email, it will still be on your phone as a new voicemail message. Voicemail Portal The third voicemail option is picking up messages via a voicemail portal. Messages that are listened to or deleted via the portal are also updated on your phone. For example, if you listen to a message via the portal, the red light on your phone will turn off. Directory. Your phone has been pre-configured with your full corporate directory. Press the directory button and you can search or scroll through the directory entries to find the person and extension you want. You can also set a personal or local directory. After pressing the directory button, Use the soft key on the bottom of the screen to bring up the local directory option. From there, you can view numbers you have set up and add entries by using the Add New soft key. You can also copy entries to your personal directory from the callers list. Call Forward The standard Call Forward function sends your calls to another designated extension without ringing your phone. It is available through the Options menu. There are three Call Forward options. Call Forward All, just if your phone is busy, or in the event of no answer. You simply enter the designated extension and check the On box using the center navigation key. When you want to end call forwarding of your phone, return to the Options menu and uncheck the on box.
do not disturb. Do not disturb or DND has been preset as a soft key. This feature allows you to automatically have all incoming calls go direct to voicemail. Press the soft key to activate DND and press again to turn it off. Note that you can still place calls when DND is on. Conference call. To establish a three way conference call, dial the first party. Once answered, press the conference button. This places the first party on hold. Dial the second party, and once they've answered, press the conference button again, and all three parties will be on the call. Note that the participating parties are displayed on the screen. If you hang up, the conference call is ended for all. By pressing the Leave soft key, you can disconnect only yourself, leaving the other two parties to continue their conversation. Speed Dial. To set up Speed Dial on your phone, from the main screen, press and hold a blank or available soft key for three seconds. This will open a dialog box. Using the dial pad, enter the name, phone number, and line. It doesn't matter if you choose line one or line two. When complete, press the save soft key. On the main screen, you will then see the speed dial name on the applicable soft key. To use speed dial, simply press the button you just programmed. Call Park. Call Park is a feature that can be used instead of hold or transfer. It allows you to put a call in a designated parking lot or extension that can be picked up from another phone. You could resume the call from another phone in a different location, or more typically, it enables another employee to pick up the call from their phone, or for that matter, any phone. Your phone has been pre programmed with a Park Soft Key and also displays two parking lots. In this example, the parking lots are 50 and 51, but the parking lots pre-programmed for your department or work group will be different than what is shown on the example phone. Parking a call is easy. With a live call, simply press the Park Soft key, and the caller will go into the next available parking spot. The spot number will be highlighted on your phone. As you can see, we have parked a call in spot 50. When this information is conveyed to anyone else on the system, they can pick up the call by entering 50 from any phone. You can also see if a parked call has been picked up. If the call hasn't been picked up, the parking lot will show as red. When it has been picked up, that parking lot is free again and will show green. That completes this tutorial on the Mitel 6867 iPhone. You can find additional instructional videos on the phone at learn.mitel.com.